Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here, and in today's video, I couldn't wait to do it tomorrow, but I just want to do it tonight because I was just so excited about it, because no one, we, we don't really find a lot of information on Lyric Colbert, you know, like, I mean, we, it's most of his videos, but like, I've never really seen him much in like, magazines, other than when he has this on, on his website, you know, but guess what I found, right, bam! Right there, Lyra Colbert, boom, 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 boom. So I'm gonna read you, I'm gonna go through the whole magazine article with you guys just to show you around what it's like. I'll read you like everything if I can. Um, I'll try not to mumble like a lot of people have been saying, you know, talking shit, whatever I know I'll mumble. Um, I've had a speech impediment since I was like, what, like six years old. I went to speech classes for like years. Um, my dad told me when I was first born, I had an issue um, saying words. So they, a lot of people thought I was like, like from New York, because the way I would say some words, like with the W's, with the R's, and I forgot some other letters too. But um, anyways, let's get started. So it's an article about Lyra Colbert, the biggest arms in the world. So this month's special guest instructor, the man with the biggest arms in the world, there he was in a boxing ring, a full five feet ten inches tall, and fighting in the 180 pound class, 118 pound class. A skinnier youth they had never seen, but determined to win, which he did a good share of the, on the occasions in the amateur bouts. A bit of time went by, and the erstwhile boxer fell out a bit to the 126 pound class. Determined our young boxer was but with such a puny physique, he was severely handicapped before he began. After several months of bouts, the inevitable, 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 sorry about that word. So now we're just going to go through the, uh, the exercise. So it looks like he's doing the uh, seated concentration curl with a close grip helped by help give the recover those high peak biceps and power packed massive upper arms. He gradually, gradually adds more and more weight to make his muscles work. And right here we got the um, French curls, or tricep extensions. Sorry, if this, there's a little bit of a glare because I'm using my flat, my phone flashlight. But um, for building powerful triceps, these French curls or tricep extensions can be beat. Dumbo is lower behind as far as possible and then raise up to the arm's length again. As muscles get used to the weight, heavier dumbbells are used. Then we got bench presses. With impossible weights gave him a tremendously thick and powerful chest, plus great pushing power in his mighty arms. Years of training made it possible for him to handle such big weights. So it looks like he's doing almost about... I, I can't even tell. Some of these plates like are like small and like some of them are big. So. Parallel bar dips play a vital role in Colbert's regular strength building program. He uses a weight belt when he uses when he wants to give his muscles a hard workout. Nice, very muscular Lyra Colbert, man. That's for like the first page. Then we got some training tips. Always dress warmly, training quarters, late afternoons or early evenings. Breathe deeply while you're exercising in rhythm to make best progress. Always attempt to push your up your sets and reps or in the amount of the amount of weight used. Proper mental attitude. After your workout, taper off gradually. Don't rush outside into other activities. Keep a record of your workouts. Don't be a quitter, never give in. Nice, nice. It says to uh, continue on to the next page. Here we are. Bodybuilding Leroy Colbert. Happened he met a really top class boxer who, as Leroy puts in, the beat the hell out of me. That was the end of Leroy's boxing career. Still a young teenager, he was the personification of the 90-pound 90 90 weakling. In gangly 5'10", he barely weighed in at 125 pounds with scrawny arms of 10 and a half inches and other measurements to match. Leroy discovers weights. Ever looking for some way to improve himself physically, the ex-boxer began noticing in his high school some of the other boys were suddenly gaining weight and sprouting powerful muscles. Naturally, interestingly, Leroy asked him what the story was and was told to go down to the East Side Barbell Club and try weightlifting. Weights? Leroy had a very dim awareness of them, but never had seen them or knew how they were used. So following his friend's advice, he showed up to the East Side Club, half expecting big bellied strongmen with quick with beer steins and handlebar hand mustaches. Leroy was surprised to find the fellows were young teenagers. Yeah. 
how to use the exercise wheel. Refer to the exercise by number, perform the number of sets and repetitions prescribed. As you get stronger, force your muscles to work harder and harder. Only this way can you make your muscles grow bigger and stronger. Three sets. Three sets, five to seven reps, five to seven reps, four, three sets, maximum reps. Three sets, five to seven reps, maximum reps. Interesting. Here we, are, here we have him doing some concentration curls. It looks like the uh, tricep press downs. Tricep press pull downs on the lap machine are one of Leroy's favorite tricep exercise. Elbows are, elbows are held close to the side so that upper arms do not get into the action. Sorry, my mouth is getting really tired of reading and my lips are dry and I'm thirsty and I can't get any water because I already started the video. But um, wide grip on wide arm chin, chins are excellent for entire upper body, including arms, shoulders, upper back, lower back, and even the chest. All right, and it says continued on page 59. So we're gonna continue on page 59. I don't think there's any any pictures on page 59, but um, here we go. Yeah, so how much is left? So we have till um, this page right here, that page, and then we're done with the whole article. So, like himself from his local high school, all of his friends were there. Beginners also, Marvin Eater, Lou Degney, now Mark Forrest of the movie and fame. I hate that they always mention that. Lou Degney is Mark Forrest. Okay, man. They always mention that. Or right, Zeller, Dom Giuliano, now a top nightclub performer. And others have now reached the top of the muscle building world. Well, they were always seeing all his friends. They were eagerly plunged, eagerly plunged into weight training at this time. 1949, 1950 training methods were not as advanced today. And most of the training stuck to a routine of summer exercise, strictly done three sets of eight reps and no more. Leroy, in his eagerness, went on to, with another pioneer, Marvin Eater, and so on some reps for exercises. Yeah. So now this really this basically confirms that Liver Colbert did more than did did ten sets of muscle group because he was talking about how he's like yeah we never did more than three sets you know I made a video on that uh, if you guys want to check that out he's like I never did more than three sets he's like he said I became uncomfortable doing just three sets you know so him and Marvin Marvin Eater decided to do more sets you know they started doing uh, five sets and then just started doing ten sets and he said their muscles blew up like crazy. So this story confirms that Leroy Cobra did actually do 10 sets. That backs up, that's even more proof for my video. I should have I should have remake that video, but I'm not going to because um, it's just a waste of time for what. Anyways, let's continue. We're almost done here. Leroy was soon off on a spree of tremendous gains. He added three full inches to his arms in only three months and many pounds of his body weight. He seemed to grow magically on his hard trainer and team as did the others in the club. By the time Mr. Lee was ready for his first contest, Mr. Gotham and his arm measured at full 18 inches and his body weight was 180 pounds. He won. Lever won again the Mr. New York. After a setback in the Mr. New York show, Lever trained as he had never trained before, adding another 10 pounds and an inch to his arms, bringing them to an amazing 19 inches, among the long largest in the world at that time. With these added gains, Leroy easily won the Eastern Mr. America title and capped his year by placing high placing in his first interest into Mr. America. Now, Leroy Culver is one of the top stars in bodybuilding, one of the coming greats of all time. Tragedy and tremendous comebacks. So I'm pretty sure the story is about, I've already read this, but it's talking about the motorcycle accident. Now, I heard the story about how Leroy Colbert, um got injured. He was, he was uh, I think he was on a motorcycle, he was making a turn, and I think he bummed his leg on someone's front bumper, on the grill, whatever, the front bumper, right? And apparently it kind of like, it separated the uh, ankle from the leg, or something like that. But the only the only way the, the foot was kept together was from the tight ass boot that was holding it down. So don't correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what I read or heard about how his injury happened, that he was... And he, he got into, he was driving into the cornfield and they were telling him that he was hurt and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. And then, then I'm taken to the hospital. After the height of his bodybuilding career, Lira was struck down. He had become an avid motorcycle fan 
um, and narrow English England road running lure over a fence and into a field, but the driver didn't even bother to stop. But continue on in his neighbor is on his way to never be caught. The group of friends who have been riding in the group with the lure and luckily been missed by a car. Willie called at eight and rushed into the hospital over an accident there was one ankle was almost severed. There you go. Almost severed, sorry. And the infection set in. Um, doctors told him he uh, refused, hoping to ultimately make his body career come back. So I think it was after Lever Colbert's injury it was when he got 21 inch arms because he was able to focus more on his upper body, not so much on his lower body. <laughs> All right, so I got lazy. I'm gonna let you guys read it if you want, but I mean. Sorry guys, I got just tired of reading, man. It's been a long day. A lot of driving today. So I hope you guys read all that, but that was the um, that was the article about Lyra Colbert. I found, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find more information on this guy because I like I like reading about him. You know, the dude built 21 inch, 21 inch arms naturally, and you know, so now I've been doing a little more research and like what he's been saying is true. So I do believe he was natural. So I'm gonna just keep searching for information on this guy, but it's it's tough, you know. It's very scarce. Oh, I'll just show you before the video ends. Oh, you know, it's too long. Actually, you know what? I'm ending it right here. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the article that I just read to you. Somewhat read, somewhat you, you just kind of read yourself. Hope you enjoyed the pictures. Hope all that stuff was pretty cool. With that being said, subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Old School Dan. I'm gone. Peace.